Robert, let's start today with the September jobs report. 136,000 jobs were added. What do you make of that number? It's not a bad number, Susan. It's certainly enough to keep the economy going and to keep the unemployment rate nice and low. And in fact, the unemployment rate ticked down now to uh, 3.5%, which is the lowest since the late 1960s, since 1969. So pretty good number there. Uh, So uh, no problems on the labor front to date. Uh, but we did get some other shaky data this week. Let's talk about that shaky data. We're talking about manufacturing. What can you tell us? Yes, we got the ISM manufacturing index that now has declined for two months through uh, into August and September. It, it's not a radical or steep decline, but it does show overall contraction in the manufacturing space. And that's consistent with what we're seeing globally. Uh, it, we see these broad indexes for global manufacturing, global commodities, and they are consistently contracting now. And so uh, uh, it's, it's certainly a cautionary signal for the U.S. economy, but the much larger service sector is still expanding in the U.S. Robert, we're hearing the word recession more nowadays. When you're talking about the economy being contracting, are you looking toward recession or not yet? We're not forecasting a recession uh, at this time, but we certainly have to say that the warning lights are out there and we certainly have to take the probabilities of recession seriously. Uh, This is still a cyclical economy. Uh, I think it always will be. It tends to accelerate and decelerate. We're in the longest economic expansion in US history, 124 months now. So it does say that uh, you know, we're due for a down cycle and we're starting to see some numbers cooling off. It's not inevitable. Uh, we have seen the Federal Reserve lower interest rates. We have seen housing respond positively to that. So those are good signs. 